The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed his days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, what have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to, Je to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We just celebrated Christmas yesterday, and we had a beautiful ceremony on Christmas Eve. So today the church, right after Christmas, celebrate the Holy Family, which is today we do so. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. They constitute the very model of human family. It was the highest institution in any society, family. The word family entails what? A man, a woman, and children. How the world exists without family. And when we look at the gospel and we see the passages, always God had loved us so much. He created man and woman for the love that he had for them and to multiply. What comes to a human family, it is a commitment to each other. It's a commitment that today is lack of. Man and woman get together, receive the sacrament of holy matrimony, accept to bear children. Big responsibility, big commitment, big obedience to each other, humility, sacrifice, and the list goes on. And we all went through that when we're bearing children. We all probably steadfast, sacrifice to grow our children. But how we see family today, in this generation, 2016, only for a week, we gone into 16. How we see family today, how we look around, and we see the deterioration of family. Why? Because we took God from everything away from. We took God from school. We're teaching the kids all kinds of other things. The teaching of family today is very, very, shall I say, shameful. But we have a, an obligation as Christian family, an obligation as Catholic family, to bring these children the same way Jesus was brought up with Mary and Joseph. They used to take him to the synagogue. He needed to really study the Bible, the Torah, the five books. He had even to study them, so he had to even understand them. He had to know by heart. This is a model of true, a holy family is all about. We can be holy too if we keep God in our lives, on our family. What they say, family who prays together remains together. A mother and father who cares for their children day in, day out. Not just because they're baby, because they have that civil obligation, because they're law obligation to look after them. 
And then when they reach a certain age, they let them fly and go what they want to do. As to stay with them until they really understand what life is all about. Sad to say, technology today. How many people, when you read the news and you see our travel, and all these young generations, they always have cell phone and iPad and computers. So what this new technology is doing to family? It's separating the family. I go to many gatherings where you see the young generation with their cell phone talking to everybody else. Isn't it a shame today that family is deteriorating? What, whose fault is that? Mom and dad. The mom and dad is strong enough to stand up to their children, to tell them exactly what needs to be done, to strong enough to tell them what's right, what's wrong, and stand up to it, not to be afraid for the consequences. Joseph and Mary, they raised Jesus. The Bible doesn't tell us too much about the, Jesus when he was on his, his teenage. The only passage we see this today, when they went to Jerusalem and Jesus went to the temple. Just imagine if you had lost your child for three days. I was one day that reminds me, I was when my kids were younger and my son was 12 years old too. We went to the mall to do some shopping and we all had, I had three children, right? All over the side, I can't see my kid anymore. He would disappear. My heart stopped beating hard. I became trembled. I was sweating. I was praying. I didn't know what to do. I looked all over the mall. Finally, I found them on the department of toys. He was looking for toys. So again, just imagine what Mother Mary and St. John went through for three days looking for Jesus. But what Jesus said, what Jesus said, hmm? I must be in my father's house. Jesus already knew the call he had at the age of 12. And that was nurtured in a house. Joseph and Mary nurtured the gift of their son. He came as a human being. He's divine and human. He did not use his divinity. He came well in a family. A mother and father and a child. Now what tells us something? The family it is something very dignified. A sacred. You receive the sacrament of matrimony. Matrimony is a sacrament. A man and woman come to church and marry themselves to witness to the priest, to God, to the church. How we go about it? Do we really commit it? Responsible, prayerful, sacrifices, committed. One of the biggest, shall I say, needed in this society, sacrifice. Nobody wants to sacrifice of anything. Feels good, do it, no matter what. No matter what you do, what you think of, you have a responsibility for your spouse, for your children, which is lack of today. So, my dear brothers and sisters, on this beautiful day, we honor the Holy Family, the model of family. You just imagine what being a family, what will happen with the world? Hmm? What generation will have? If we don't have a man and a woman and children, where are we going? It'll be deteriorating, isn't it? So we pray today for our own family, for our neighbors, for our children married or not married or looking to be married. Let's pray and be steadfast. And don't be afraid to tell the truth to your children and stand up for it. Amen.